In this video, let's look at some of the best practices related to DevOps. Throughout this course, you have been learning a number of best practices around DevOps. Here are some of them. Number one is standardization. When you implement DevOps across enterprises, there are a number of teams. Each of these teams might be having their own processes and their own ways of solving problems. In ideal DevOps implementations, you would have a standardization of how things are done. While you would have a scope for innovation and trying new things, you'd want majority of the things to be similar across multiple teams. So having consistency and standardization across teams is very important. The next important thing is to create teams with cross-functional skills. So your DevOps teams have business skills, your DevOps teams have development skills across a wide range of areas, front-end, back-end, databases, cloud, testing, and automation. You also have skills to do operations as part of your team. So it's very, very important that DevOps teams are cross-functional. The best DevOps teams focus a lot on culture. Having a culture of learning, a culture of innovation, a culture of making continuous improvements is very important. The best DevOps teams focus on automating almost everything. If you face a challenge, you find an automated way of solving it. The other best practices around DevOps are related to infrastructure. One of the best practices that we talked about when we talked about infrastructure as code is immutable infrastructure. Whenever you'd want to update a software or, or make a new security patch on the servers, it's better to provision a new server with the new configuration rather than trying to update existing servers. So immutable infrastructure is one of the best infrastructure as code best practices. Dev prod parity is another important DevOps best practice. You'd want the dev and the production environments to be as similar as possible. You'd want to create them the same way. You'd want to deploy applications to them the same way and you want to monitor them the same way. This would ensure that any problems that you might find in production, you'd find them early. You don't really need to wait until a production stage to find problems. If dev and the production environments are similar, then you'd find problems early. The next important best practice is to version control everything. Typically, the source code for an application and your microservices is version controlled, is in GitHub repository. But it's very, very important to have version control even around infrastructure. If you're using immutable infrastructure and if you're version controlling your infrastructure, that's awesome. This would enable to this will enable you to track infrastructure changes across releases and roll back anything if you'd want to. The next important best practice is self-provisioning. Your development team should not need to wait for an operations team to provision environments. They should be able to execute our infrastructure as code script and provision things on their own. This would bring a lot of flexibility and help your development team to make quick changes. In this step, we quickly looked at some of the important best practices around DevOps.